I always seem to find myself questioning something the government may not be looking at. I found something really bad. Look around at the world. What do you see? A planet on the brink of collapse. Human beings are disposable. But man and symbiote combined. This is a new race, a new species. A higher life form. We cannot just hurt people. My eyes are deep. You do not want to do this, trust me. Oh, I have a parasite. So this is what you missed, and by you missed, I mean my camera has this cute little quirk that it keeps deleting less than necessary but helpful footage. I used a cotton ball and liquid latex blend to literally just form the shape of a tongue on top of a mobile cutting board lined with Vaseline so it's more of a non-stick surface. Also, over top of a crappy little drawing of a tongue just so I knew the general shape and size that I wanted for. Now let's continue. Once that's dry to the touch, I'm putting some translucent powder on it so it's not sticky. Then mixing a red and white to make a custom pink. You could definitely use a pink acrylic paint if you have one, but I find this to be better as every time you dip into it, it's not going to be the same exact color. And that'll basically just give the tongue a little bit more dimension. You'll notice the shape of this tongue is a little bit like a roller coaster, like how it curves, etc. Well, that's because Venom's tongue slides in and out of his mouth a little like that. In a very dick-like way, apparently, says Elizabeth Banks. Obviously, we're painting both the front and the back, and as for the teeth, I've made a separate video in the past all about how to make creature teeth. I'll leave that linked in the down bar below. As for the body paint, though, and yes, I do have a shirt on, I'm actually going to start with outlining where I want the mouth to be using my Nixon Blood Pencil and Milk. It is very, very easy to take off and or blend out. And it's also white, so it's easy enough to cover when the time comes that I have to. This is the time to make mistakes, though. Just be sure the tongue prosthetic you're using fits in the mouth shape you're creating. When you want the shape you want, it's time for some liquid latex. Basically, all I'm going to be doing is putting a liquid latex outline on and around the line of the jumbo pencil that we just put down adding a rolled out cotton ball over it and then adding more liquid latex onto it and then repeat that until you've got the depth that you want to have to your discretion Once you've got the outline of your mouth cotton and latex mixed up, you can stick your teeth on. All of them. One by one. Yep, there is a lot. There's no rhyme or reason to this, just make them fit. Then I'm putting another round of liquid latex and cotton over them and blending that into my skin again to secure them further. And then when you've got that done, 
<laughs> and it's dry again to the touch you can move on to the paint job you probably do this while drying but i prefer to wait until it's done because i don't want to take the chances of messing up any of my brushes with the liquid latex devil again with the jumbo eye pencil i'm making a freehand stencil of a spider this isn't super accurate to the newest venom but it's a twist that i did want to add in to make it more of a recreation let's mix the two together kind of thing Once I've got the outline done, I'm jumping back into my mouth. That sounded weird. <laughs> and adding a wash of brown paint. This will have the coloring later on. Liquid latex and cotton doesn't respond the same way regular skin does when it's hit with the same kind of color. And while that's drying, I'm going to be filling in the majority of black with both a thicker brush and a thin one for the detailing, as I do with the white. Same exact process, just different colors that are very, very different in contrast. This is when you'll really start seeing everything come together. Be aware if you mess up on the black or the white, just let it dry down first and then add the other color over top. It's obviously going to be easier to fix the black if you actually put white over top, but even if you put the black over top of the white, as long as you let it dry down, it will be a lot easier to fix up. Now that the brown is dry, I'm going back to the mouth this entire tutorial. I'm adding a pink water activated paint for the gums. All of these paints that I've been using have been water activated, by the way. Bringing it a little in between the teeth to make it look more realistic. and then adding more black around that to better blend it. And then I went straight for my eye with the white. This is an effort to make my eyes look like, well, his, without a prosthetic because this video is so long as it is. Basically just be super light-handed with this and the less than perfect, the better. And then carrying the black back around
and around down the other side of me for being taken over. What do you expect? To add more of a demon taking over your body kind of look, you can almost do like strings of black, like when Hardy starts going full venom. And adding the black inside my mouth obviously to make it look more like a mouth, he definitely is enough of a mouth breather. and then stick your tongue down your neck. I usually code latex, but if you're going to wear this for more than a video shoot, I would suggest using something a little bit stronger. For filling purposes, I also took this down my arm and onto my hand a little bit. Now for the slime. Well, in this case, the spit. The neon ass spit. <laughs> that sounded far worse than needed to. Okay, this is purely a gelatin mixture with some food coloring added, nothing special. Just drip it down your creature teeth that you've made. Maybe along your gum line a little bit, whatever your poison. Add a blonde wig and now the bitch is gender bit. Hope you enjoyed.